Hi and welcome to another episode in my Olympus journey. Now today I want to have a look at keystone correction. Now this is a problem when you, your camera is not in the same plane as what you're looking at. So if you're taking a picture of a tall building and you're pointing the camera up then the plane of the sensor is here. The plane of the building is here. And so you get what's called keystone errors which is basically conversion verticals and so the lines will go up just like this. Now we've been able to correct this before um, by using Photoshop or an expensive tilt shift lens um, but now on the Olympus cameras we can actually do it in camera. So let's get on with it. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. And don't forget, if this is your first time with LiveLink Training, please visit my website. And if you scoot to the bottom of any page, just give this link a click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really helpful. Thank you very much. Let's get on. Okay. Well, the first thing we need to do is to go and press the menu button. And when we press the menu button, we want to be up at the top and we'll start in shooting menu one and we'll press the down arrow and we'll come to shooting menu two then if i press the across key i can go into shooting menu two and then if i go down to keystone compensation and then i switch it on and then we press the menu key to get us back to the start again and now keystone is switched on now you can go and frame up your shot and you'll see this. Now the front dial, this controls the horizontal keystone. And the back, the rear dial, controls the horizontal keystone effect. And all you do, you just mix and match between the front dial and the back dial until your picture looks like this. And then we're done. Just press the shutter and Bob's your uncle. You've got a keystone corrected picture. Is that not cool? Well, I do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video. That would be great. And oh, don't forget, please click that subscribe button if you get a minute. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.